this is Jared from Commit Quality and in today's video we're going to have an introduction into Playwright. So what is Playwright? Playwright is an open source framework. It's a way to create reliable end-to-end -end tests for modern web applications. It was actually created by Microsoft and it was built by the team that brought you Puppeteer. So if you have used Puppeteer before, you're going to find similarities between the both. However, Playwright offers more by giving the new functionality and even the ability to test cross-browser. I should also mention that they've recently introduced component testing as well, so keep an eye out for future videos, because I'll be going into that in detail. So what does Playwright support? Well, it's one API, which means it's cross-platform, cross-language, and cross-browser. You can test on Windows, Linux, or Mac OS. Like I said, it'll support Chromium, WebKit, and Firefox. Should also mention you can actually test local browsers on your machine. That's the Chrome family browsers. And Playwright does this using browser channels, uh, also known as channels in the Playwright config. And we'll touch on that in a future video as well. Like I said, because it's one API, it means you can use JavaScript, TypeScript, Python, Java and .NET to uh, create your test scripts. It is worth mentioning, you can also perform mobile web tests using Chrome emulation, and the rendering engine works exactly the same on your desktop and in the cloud. So why would we use Playwright? Well, it has resilient tests. Playwright will wait for elements to be actionable before you try to perform any actions. Playwright uses the Jest assertion library under the hood, but then they also create these Playwright assertions that are targeted for dynamic web testing. We call these web first assertions. What these will do is these assertions are automatically retried until a condition is met. And there's many ways to debug a test using retries, tracing, creating videos, taking screenshots, and many more. There's also fast execution. So a Playwright will actually create a browser context for each test. Basically, a new browser profile is created each time. It's also very quick, taking milliseconds to load these new contexts. So that means you've got this fully isolated testing. You can also reuse your authentication throughout your test pack as well. So once you save your state once, you can reuse that in all of the different tests. Then you also have powerful tooling. So out of the box, you're offered lots of excellent, excellent tools to create and debug your tests. You know, we're going to have videos on each of these individual components, but just to touch on them, you have the code gen or the code generator. This will generate tests by recording actions performed on a web page. This will then save into your chosen language, which is obviously supported by Playwright. You then have your Playwright inspector. This is a way you can step through created code and inspect the page and generate selectors and explore logs and do all that kind of good debugging directly there inside your inspector. We then have tracing or trace viewer. And I'm actually going to steal this quote directly from the Playwright documentation. It's a way to troubleshoot and view test runs in a post-mortem manner. Basically, you can capture all the information of a test run, providing things like your live DOM, snapshots, and show what actions are being done. It's, it's really useful, and we'll have a video to completely cover that. Playwright also advertised there are very few limitations. Compared to other tools, Playwright tries to allow as much as possible. They try to have no blockers or any kind of awkward workarounds. So there's no strange workarounds from multi-tab, multi-window, cross-origin support. It seamlessly tests frames. You can pierce the shadow DOM. And you, you even have fixtures to make HTTP, HTTP requests simple. So what's actually next? I'm going to be creating videos detailing how to install, set up, and create Playwright tests. There's a lot to cover, but I want to make sure that you're confident in knowing how you can improve your Playwright knowledge and create these robust automated test packs. A like on the video and subscribing to my channel will help me out a lot, and it's greatly appreciated. And as I create more videos, I'm going to welcome comments for topics you would like covered. So please drop a comment below. And as always, Thank you for watching and have a great day.